Hey everyone, today we're going to share with you one thing that will heal your cold and flu just as quick or even faster than antibiotics completely and totally naturally. Hey, I'm Nathan Crane. I'm Derek Crane. And we bring you programs, products, and inspiration about a healthy living, fitness training, and creating an amazing life. And today, we wanna to share with you, as Derek said, this one thing that is incredibly potent, it's very powerful at healing your immune system naturally, it's something you can get at any grocery store really cheap, and you can start taking it at the very first onset of any cold or flu, and you'll see how fast it works at helping you heal and even prevent from that cold and flu. And that number one thing is garlic. So you've probably heard of garlic before, You've probably taken it, you've probably cooked with it, but do you know the scientific studies behind it? Do you know the health benefits behind it? Do you know how much to take? Well, we're gonna share with you all those things in this video right now. So there's been a lot of studies done on garlic published in leading scientific journals such as PubMed, and one of the studies is a 12-week study. It showed that garlic reduced the impact and the effects of cold on the subjects by 63%. Now that's huge, right? Just that taking is. something as simple as garlic and all of a sudden watching the cold disappear or be prevented really quickly. Now there's a lot of other studies that you can look up for yourself as well, but what we want to get into is why is garlic so effective, right? There's a lot of different benefits to garlic. We want to show you three of the main ones. And the first major main benefit is, is that it is an antibiotic. With that, there was a study that showed that it was 100 times more effective than two other antibiotics. Now that's huge. Yeah, especially garlic being natural. Now, the problem with pharmaceutical antibiotics is that uh, superbugs are being created. And a superbug is basically a bug, a bacteria or a virus that gets immune to the pharmaceutical antibiotics, which means that they become less and less effective. I want to read you something from David Christopher where he talks about that the scientific community had warning signs from the beginning. He's talking about Dr. Alexander Fleming who discovered penicillin in 1928 and as early as 1929 in the British Journal of Experimental Pathology he noted bacterial resistance to its new discovery. So very quickly he already saw that there was resistance to penicillin right which was has been one of the main leading antibiotics that they've used obviously for decades. So he received a Nobel Prize in 1945 and in an interview with New York Times warned that improper use of penicillin would inevitably lead to the development of resistant bacteria. So they already knew this stuff but they were ramping up production. In that same year, 14% of Staphylococcus, which we know is staph infection, right? Uh, that bacteria was already resistant to penicillin by 14%, and in 1953, that climbed up to 64% resistant, and by 1995, it was 95% of staff was resistant to penicillin. So it shows you how quickly, when you're using pharmaceutical antibiotics, that the, the bugs, the bacteria, the virus, and so forth, become resistant to it. The good thing about garlic is that doesn't happen. Why? Because it's a natural form of antibiotic that has multiple antibodies in it. It has multiple antibiotic properties in it, whereas these ones that you're getting from pharmaceuticals might have one or two very precise ones. Garlic has multiple, plus it has tons of vitamins, minerals, um, and, and a lot of other benefits. The other thing about having a natural antibiotic such as garlic compared to a pharmaceutical is that using garlic will actually help to strengthen your immune system. Right. So the pharmaceutical antibiotics, over time your body becomes dependent on that. So it actually starts lowering the immune system. So when we're thinking of using something natural like garlic, what it's going to do is that it's going to help eradicate the virus, kill the virus, but also not kill anything else. So pharmaceuticals will go in and they'll kill all the good bacteria and the bad bacteria. Right. Whereas garlic will leave 
the good bacteria in there actually help to strengthen the good bacteria and then also wipe out the bad bacteria. Exactly. So obviously garlic as a natural antibiotic is really potent for your immune system, but it also has some awesome additional properties that we want to talk about. And the second one being is that it positively affects your blood pressure, and meaning that it helps to actually reduce blood pressure. And when you reduce blood pressure, uh, there are some indications that lowering blood pressure will actually boost your immune system. Yeah, so very true. And just in one study to give an example, it was just as effective as a leading pharmaceutical drug in lowering blood pressure. So it's pretty awesome, huh? You can go to the grocery store, take some garlic, it's going to reduce your blood pressure, it's going to give you some natural antibiotics, help get rid of that cold and the flu. Well, one of the other reasons, one of the other major benefits of why it's so effective uh, at getting rid of the cold and the flu is that it is a huge source of antioxidants. And obviously, um, as an antioxidant, a natural antioxidant, what it does is it goes in and helps to create the antioxidant enzymes that your body needs to, again, prevent and heal cold and flus. So very true. And when we're talking about antioxidants, we're talking about fighting free radicals. Free radicals are what actually allow viruses to come in and bacteria and also create that cold and that flu. So when you start adding in more natural antioxidants like garlic, it'll help to fight those free radicals. Absolutely. It's like, you know, the, the story of the vampire, right? Free radicals and diseases and cold and flu, bacteria and viruses, they're like the vampire trying to get into your body and suck all your blood. And garlic is the thing that keeps them away, right? Well, that's the old wives tale. Garlic's been used for hundreds, uh, potentially thousands of years as a natural uh, medication, right? We've had these natural drugs, these natural medicines forever that we've used in our bodies to, to prevent and heal. But now the science is confirming, yes. So what we want to share with you is how much to use and how to use it. Yeah. You know, I interviewed Dr. Christopher's son, David Christopher, who's one of the world's leading health experts uh, as an herbalist today, as a master herbalist. One of, the, one of the things he taught me was, especially like if you have strep throat, you make a combination. You do uh, four garlic cloves, smash it up with a tablespoon of honey and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne, mix it together and swallow that. It's going to burn a little bit, trust me. <laughs> and uh, swallow it, but let it, let it soak down your throat. Right? Like he's seen, and, it's, and I've done it and it works, he's seen uh, many people get rid of strep throat in 24 to 48 hours, right, doing this. And I've actually seen sore, sore throats go away very quickly, but you gotta do it three or four times a day. So you take that concoction, do it three or four times a day, let it soak, let it sit. You really want those properties to sit there where the, where the infection is. Um, do that three or four times a day and then watch that sore throat go away, right? So how do you take garlic? Another way that you can take it is just like as, as a pill in right. and of itself, like the, the whole garlic clove. Uh, one way that I was taking it when, when, I would, when I would get a cold or anything like that, I would take a raw piece of garlic clove and I would put it in my mouth and chew it. Right. Chew it. And trust me, yes, your eyes will water and it gets intense, uh, but you know, you know that you're getting a natural uh, antibiotic that's going to help wipe out the virus without killing the good stuff. Yeah. So, or another thing that I'll do is, is I'll, I'll put like three raw garlic cloves uh, at the end of cooking quinoa. Yeah. So that yeah, I'm not, right. so that I'm not boiling, boiling it down and killing all the good um, effects of it. Right. Yeah. So it's a little bit more mild, yeah. but you're eating it with your food. Yeah. yeah. I do that a lot too. The other way too, is it doesn't have to be as intense. Now, the thing is when you're taking garlic, if you just swallow it whole, uh, your body's just gonna poop it out whole because our digestive system does not break down garlic just like it doesn't break down corn kernels, just like it doesn't break down pea kernels, right? So you actually have to get it mushed up or chewed. But uh, what another thing that David Christopher told me is that four cloves of garlic is similar to one unit of antibiotic. Mm. So like for cold and flu, the moment you start seeing or feeling any uh, indication of cold or flu, immediately get on the garlic and immediately do four cloves and do that three to four times a day. I actually just got a cold three days ago. I got on it with garlic right away. Uh, by the second day, it already peaked out, and now I'm on the tail end. Whereas a lot of people will go and, and the cold will sit three or four days, it'll peak out, it'll take three or four, five, six, seven, eight days to come out of it, mm -hmm. right? Like I'm on the third day and it's actually almost already gone, mostly because of garlic. 
So you do four cloves. And what I do is I also, I, I take a clove, I'll take three quick bites uh, 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 to open it up and then swallow it with water. Mm. I'll take another clove, three quick bites, swallow it with water. That way it's not so intense yeah. that you can't handle it because I've done it where you chew the whole thing and swallow it and, and that is so intense. But what I found is you can get the same effects. Three quick bites, swallow, three quick bites, swallow. Do that with four cloves three times a day. The moment you see a cold coming or flu coming, hit that three, four, five days consistent and wipe that thing out really quick. It's so powerful, it's amazing. Yeah, it's so very true. And just, just add it into your dishes. And like I said, just even at the end of the dish so that you're not killing all the good um, properties of garlic. I love it. Actually, I've been doing that more recently because yeah. there are kind of colds going around and stuff. So I've been putting in three cloves of garlic and I think that it just gives the whole dish an amazing taste. Absolutely. Good taste, good flavor, good for you. So start adding garlic to your diet. We uh, hope you got some good tips from uh, today's video. We always appreciate you tuning in and we always want to hear your comments on what do you use garlic for? How do you use it? How do you see its benefits in your own health? Please leave those comments down below and if you like this video or if you got some good information from it, please give it a thumbs up and share it and uh, if you're not subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Appreciate you guys tuning in. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Awesome. Thank you guys. See you in the next video. Hey bro. You got any garlic? What kind of garlic you looking for? We got that super fresh California dope garlic. Mm. We got that Kush blueberry garlic. Mm. We got that extra boby garlic. I want all of it. All right. How much? <laughs>